Right, my name is Angelo Habib and I am the CEO for Volta Rapids Tilapia Farm, the farm you can see behind me. Um, we've started as a farm about 10 years ago and um, I had earlier come home on holidays, I used to live abroad and went somewhere in the Volta region where someone showed me a very small pond that they were breeding fish in it and I took interest immediately in the whole thing. So having done some research, I decided I would try and go into fish farming. First and foremost because it is a much healthier option when it comes to meat sources. Secondly, because it was a new, a new area at the time in the country and it looked like it has a good future even now with climate change and all that. So that is how I got um, interested in it. Well, you need to do your research. It's good to listen to others, get experienced people to also advise you, but you need to actually sit down, read, and then get a better understanding of the fish farming industry and how it works to be a fish farmer. You don't want to be an absentee farmer. It doesn't work in most farms, but it certainly will not work in fish farm. You must be hands-on. You must be able to understand, ask your workers questions and also bring ideas. And if you haven't done your research, it's difficult to then bring ideas even to your workers who may be experts in the day-to-day -day running um, of the farm. I would encourage any potential fish farmer to come on board and then join us. The Ghana Aquaculture Association have a lot of helpful hands, both in tilapia and catfish, and we'll be happy to hold your hands um, in what you need to do to get yourself to a good um, startup. Thank you. I want to talk briefly about cost of setting up um, cage culture, which is something like this. Um, obviously, water rapids tilapia cage culture is at the top of the pyramid using polyethylene, but you don't have to go down that route. The blue barrel technology is perfectly fine. Now, to begin with, all things being equal, all things running carefully, you can easily make between 25 and 35 percent return on a production which is normally, normally about six or seven months from fingerlings to table size so it's a good return if you get it right in fish farming however you need to look at your costs tilapia is not a high value fish like tuna or salmon so ratcheting up your cost is not the best idea you can start off with a blue barrel farm four cages you make sure you have good nets the blue barrels are solid and then the metal pipes in addition you need to get at least one very experienced and honest worker who would hold the day-to-day -day activities on your behalf some of the other costs surveying where you should put your cage is very important. You don't want to be in an area that is too shallow or too deep for that matter. So you would want to do a brief underwater survey. Any diver can be able to give you an idea. And you are looking for areas where the vegetation under the water is fast. So it's either rocky or very little vegetation. This is just to save you from the uptend that sometimes happens when you are in such river bodies. Another cost that you need to look out for is your cost of feed. There are feed companies around, so you can shop around and look at what is best for yourself. But more importantly, the efficient use of your feed is very important. Your workers should be feeders and not dumpers. Dumpers just dump 
the feed into their cages whether the fish is eating or not they don't observe and then control what is going into their cages if you do that you can effectively save a lot of money in terms of feed waste the feed you are using is the most expensive single item on your production cost budget so that needs to be done properly and then finally you need to find very honest workers to help you along you can grow slowly and grow big what we are now having before i finish off here the Ghana Aquaculture Association is trying to help would-be farmers come in and to save them from the usual 10 to 15 thousand Ghana cities you might need to run four or so cages we are going around and trying to link people who have non-production cages they are no longer doing it or they are thinking of coming back they haven't come back but they do have cages they do have nets so we are trying to link them to those of you who want to come into it on a rental basis so that that will cut drastically your cost of setting up so as you set up with somebody's facility you can then begin to save and then develop your own facility along the line so this is a, a novel idea that we are working on and those who want to be part of this you would be best advised to see the Ghana Aquaculture Association get our contact and then we can work together with yourselves and those surplus cages that are all scattered around most of the fish producing areas I think with that I'll leave you to chew over it and then at another time we will discuss another topic in this area. Thank you.